Now in this question, we have two charges A and B, uh, each of charge Q and are separated by a distance B between them. Uh, there is another charge C which is at a distance D by 2 from B as well as A. Now according to the A part of the question that is if the charge C is displaced by a distance x in the direction perpendicular to AB then the electric force that is experienced by it can be easily calculated by the vector addition. The one thing to be noticed that when the charge C is displaced by distance x then the force on C due to A will be equal to force on C due to B. Now let us say the line of force between A and C is this F C A and the line of force between C and B is this this is F on C due to B. Now on resolving the components in the two direction let this angle be theta now by equal and opposite di angles this angle is again theta so it can be easily calculated that tan theta is given by d by 2 divided by x now net force acting on C due to A and B is F net that is equal to 2 times of force on C due to A into cos of theta so 2 times of K into Q into Q divided by distance between the charge C and B that can be given by B by 2 whole square plus x square because this distance is D by 2 this is my x so by Pythagoras theorem I can easily calculate the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle that is given by D by 2 whole square plus x square to the power 1 by 2 that is my distance r now as uh, in the denominator there is r square so the 1 by 2 into 2 will give me 1 and so the denominator is d by 2 whole square plus x square into cos theta cos theta is again base upon hypotenuse here my base is x divided by hypotenuse that is nothing but r so d by 2 whole square plus x square to the power 1 by 2 so I'm solving I get 2 k capital Q small q into x whole divided by d by 2 whole square plus x square to the power 3 by 2 this is my answer now if we assume that x is very very less than d then d by 2 whole square plus x square to the power c by 2 can be assumed to be d by 2 to the power square well, c by 2 what we did over here is that as x is very very less than d so x can be neglected in comparison to d by 2 so our f net will turn into 2 k capital Q small q into x divided by d by 2 to the power 3 and clearly that f net is directly proportional to x in C part, 
we had to calculate that we had to calculate the condition that if it is released after such a small displacement then what will be the time period now we calculated in the second part that f net is given to me by two times of k capital q small q into small x whole divided by d by 2 whole q now in case of shm the force we know is given by mass into acceleration now let's say a particle is performing as shm then the displacement can be given by a sin omega t as we all know and differentiating it this equation twice we'll get velocity as a omega cos omega t and acceleration as minus a omega square sin omega t so the in in case a particle is performing a simple harmonic motion then the acceleration can be easily given by minus of omega square x sin omega t now in this case we have the maximum displacement so the net force k is given by 2 times of k capital q into small q into small x divided by d by 2 whole q that will be equal to mass into acceleration and the acceleration as we calculated will be omega square into x now solving this equation for omega first of all we get x is cancelled from both the side we have 16 k capital Q into small q divided by d cube is equal to mass now omega as we know is given by 2 pi by capital T so it will be 4 pi square divided by t square so t can be easily calculated as m into 4 pi square into d cube divided by 16 k capital Q into small q into 1 by 2 that is my answer